you sleep like after so in case so that we'll be able to leave so my friend put it in her hand and when she tried to pour it into his mouth he turned his face away and he didn't enter his mouth he said he didn't need it to lighten up his mood so i think at that time she was now getting impatient because it was raining before and as the rain stopped everywhere became quiet and like we were running out of time so that was when she took the phone and she was placing it in front of his face i was even surprised because before she even picked up the phone with everything that was going on he was not suspicious he did not like he was just like willingly doing everything so i was also like surprised that how come he did not even like think about anything like he allowed us to tie his hand and his leg so easily like that so when my friend put the phone in his face he thought we wanted to video him so it was not like we should not video him we should not video him that was when he now pushed me off the bed because i was already sitting like on his leg before that was when he now pushed me of the bed so my friend got on him and she put the phone in his face and tried to like unlock the phone with his face like since he didn't have because the man the man is like he did not have like cash or anything with him that day in his pocket or anything and we didn't go to his car so there was nothing else that we could do except if we were able to like get money from his account so when my friend put the phone in front of his face that was when he now freaked out and he now started like shouting and everything i don't know how he managed to lose the rope that was used to tie his hand and he started hitting my friend so as he started hitting my friend and he started shouting she took the pillow and placed it over his face to muffle his screams from shouting so like during everything suddenly it just went calm and like as he went calm i got down from bed and i asked my friend that like i think this man is pretending because like he wants us to like let our guard down and he will try to stand up and try to hold us again so i kept telling my friend that i think he's pretending to be asleep that he's pretending to be asleep so my friend went to the door and she turned the key of the door pretending like as if we were leaving and she said he opened one of his eyes so when she said that, we now went to him and we're now begging him that, okay, please, can you wake up? We are not doing anything to you. Just wake up. We want to go. Because we felt he was pretending, but he didn't answer. So that was when Anna went outside to the reception. Because before we entered inside with him, he gave us a call to drink. Even though him, he didn't take any. We asked him why he did not take any. He said he does not need a call to get in the mood that we should just drink the alcohol because he was going to deal with us tonight like sexual talk and everything he even touched my friend's breast while we were in the garden there outside in the open space there we did not discover he was dead until when the police apprehended us um me i went home to um Mowe. So it was while I was in Mowe that the police came to apprehend us i even thought that it was cause we left with the the man's phone that that was why they came to apprehend us and we gave them the phone and the sim card only to find out later that that time that we thought he was pretending he was already dead um we went with the rope with no and one small kitchen knife that was blown because when he started eating my friend the kitchen knife that was in my hand he tried to bend the knife, but the knife didn't cut his hand because the knife was blunt. The, we held the knife just to make him scared. Like, the knife was not even sharp at all. It's like all these bed, the knife they used to cut cake. So instead, instead of that, when he was eating my friend, the pointy, that pointy part of the knife, I was using it to, I was using it to like pierce him a little and begging him that he should stop eating my friend. That like if, if you stop eating now that we're not going to hurt him or anything but he kept on eating now until when he suddenly went calm no sir we no sir the 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 kitchen knife in question even when he held it onto his hand i tried to break it and bend it from my hand it didn't cut him it didn't cut me too it was totally blunt and that was why we took it no sir yes sir Yes, sir. Uh, that was the first time ever that we even tried to steal from anybody.
Yes, it's true. Yeah, it's true. We did it together. Yeah. Yeah, she I would say they should be patient, go with all this got intervene and break through of course. And not to just go for any man because of money. Thank you. Thank you.